Hi everyone, it's Mike, and I'm here with a haul from uh, a Life Deliberate Soap Company uh, from Lori. Uh, this is a compilation of several hauls and uh, a stash that I had as well. And uh, so I'm uh, having to apologize for the state of my soaping room. I just had a massive wholesale order, so it's a bit of a mess in here. But uh, I'm leaving for Toronto for a week tomorrow, so I really wanted to get this done for Lori. Uh, so, uh, we're going to dig right in here. <laughs> Lori, look. <laughs> Lori says that my blue gloves that I use when I'm cutting soap look like Grover. So, <laughs> so what we've done is we've invited some celebrity guests to help us with our haul today. And our first guest appearance is by Grover. <laughs> Hi, Grover. How are you doing? So, Grover's now going to demonstrate for us the difference between near and far. Near, far. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Grover, <laughs> very much for your celebrity guest appearance. <laughs> so there you go, Lori. Uh, yes, my blue glo gloves do look like Grover. <laughs> and then I got to thinking that Grover's voice kind of can be interchangeable with another celebrity that we all know and love as well. So we invited uh, him along. And uh, I, this celebrity guest needs no introduction. I'd like everybody to say hello to our good friend Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda, say hello. Not ready for the burn, were you? Not complete the training it was. <laughs> See? Grover and Yoda, same thing. <laughs> when 900 years old, you reach, look so good, you will not. <laughs> and also, for one last segment, we're going to reenact the longest death scene in history, um, which was from the first Star Wars, and uh, Yoda and I both agree that um, his death scene was the longest death scene in recorded history. So <laughs> we're going to do that now. <laughs> Look, look, come closer, closer. There is another Skywalker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Yoda. Thank you very much for that awesome, awesome segment. I know that uh, Grover and Yoda are very busy with their jet-setting uh, celebrity lifestyles, so we really appreciate them taking the time to come and help us today with this haul. Okay, you guys, let's get into this because uh, there's a lot here and I'm really excited about this. Um, I also want to say a few things about Lori Soap. I mean, if anybody follows me on YouTube or follows my Facebook page um, at all, they know that um, for me, you know, anybody, not anybody, people can make a, a really good looking soap or people can make a really nice scented soap. But for me, the only thing that I care about is how my skin feels um, after I use the soap. And so Lori's soap is incredibly moisturizing. It's awesome. And all her soaps are goat milk soaps. And uh, they lather like crazy, and they're incredibly moisturizing. So it's the entire package. And I think uh, Lori soaps are only like six twenty-five or something ridiculous like that. So I mean, for the money that you're paying for these, you're getting a phenomenal deal. These soaps are incredible. Some of the best I've ever used from anybody ever. And as you know, I order a lot of soaps from people. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see, this one here, I have two of these. Um, some of them are missing because I just could not wait. I had to rip into them and use them. And this is kind of, yeah, a compilation of several hauls and a stash I had tucked away um, together. And uh, I don't know which ones were um, freebies and which ones I ordered anymore because <laughs> it's been so long. But Lori was really generous. Um, thank you, Lori. And there's a few things missing here. We'll all go over that as well. Uh, this one here is Champagne Sugar Bear. Uh, which has got to be one of my favorite scents ever. Um, look at this. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. I don't know if that's picking it up. And uh, Lori's embeds are the best I've ever seen. They're unique and fun and funny. And she puts a lot of thought and creativity into her soap. She just doesn't pour soap into a mold and cut it. She really is creative. And that's what I just love about her as well. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. With the uh, sugar pearls and the glitter and uh, the bare embed. And this soap, you guys, um, it says Champagne Sugar Bear, but it smells to me like effervescent Canada Dry ginger ale. I mean, it literally smells like the bubbles from ginger ale to me. It's just phenomenal. Uh, the scent is unbelievable. And uh, look at the size of these bars. They're just a big chunk of soap. And, you know, the conditioning and moisturizing qualities are crazy. So 
for you know whatever you're paying 625 i think it is for this is ridiculously cheap you know um i'm gonna post all of Lori's links um below and you guys have got to get out there and order this soap it's unbelievably phenomenal okay and i got two of these guys and one of those is coming with me to toronto tomorrow <laughs> and this one has got to be my favorite soap of the year from Lori, and it's called Christmas Candy, and I have ones in my shower now. I've used one, and this wasn't the last one that I had, and this one is a seasonal soap for Lori that comes out only at Christmas, so you can't get it now, um, and uh, so I'm lucky to be, um, probably Tina and I are, <laughs> are the only uh, holders of this soap now at this time. But uh, this won't last long because after I do this video, I'm going to tear right into these guys. Uh, look at this soap. I mean, look at the swirls. You know, it's really hard to get a nice red in cold process soap for anyone who is a soap maker. I mean, and look at that red. I hope that's picking up that in the light with the green and the white and the, the, the three layer, uh, three colored embed, you know, with the glitter. I mean, it's just the candy cane. Uh, uh, candy canes on top. It's just a phenomenal looking soap, but again, it's some of the best soap you'll ever use. It's just so good to your skin. And that's Christmas candy, and that's um, like a peppermint vanilla scent, and it is incredible, incredible scent. I love that soap. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> this one is awesome. I love this one too. This one was in a, uh, my, my stash box that I had from uh, a haul I got from Lori a while ago. It's called Shamrocks and Shenanigans, and this soap is so good, the smell. And I think this one only comes out for St. Patrick's Day. Look at this beautiful shamrock green embed on top with the glitter. That's just gorgeous, eh? With the green and the orange, it's just a beautiful... And look at the size of this thing. You could, like, literally, like, throw this at someone at 10 paces at a duel and, like, kill them. Yes, it's, it's just monstrous. It's just... And she bevels the edges as well. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous soap. And, um, oh my God, it's just a citrusy, awesome, it's a, a beautiful citrus blend of juicy kumquats and fresh um, Japanese yuzu is the scent description, which is crazy good. Fruity and fun and awesome. Love, love this soap. And uh, this one here is called Winterberry. Um, this one here, I think, is also only seasonal, being Winterberry. Um, and I don't know if the light is picking this up, you guys. I think it's looking a little more blue, but it is a beautiful, like, lavender purple swirls with the white and that really nice pink embed. And um, this, look at the size of this chunk of bar. This is really where so uh, Lori's soap direction is going right now, I think. Um, she is um, using her slab mold with her divider and making these more. I'm really happy that she still incorporates the embeds uh, into them because I really love that about her soaps. But, I mean, the, look at the size of this soap. It is in, it's just a big, massive chunk of soap, and I love that. I love big, chunky soaps. Uh, so they last a long time, and they're just... I don't know if I mentioned, but Lori's soaps are all goat, goat's milk as well. So the lather is just beautiful, creamy, awesome lather that just makes your skin feel like silk. It's awesome. So that is amazing. And that is just a fresh, clean scent to me. Just fresh and clean. It's just beautiful. So... Definitely, you guys, for next Christmas, um, Christmas candy and winterberry. Uh, don't forget to get these. Um, they're seasonal, again, so you can only get them at Christmas time. And this next one as well, this is Kooky uh, Cookie Christmas. And this is another one of my favorites uh, as well from Lori. <laughs> Look at the uh, pink, uh, I think that's a gingerbread man guy uh, on there. And the, the swirls are just, it's like this um, black... Uh, swirl with the white and the pink and the glitter. It's just a beautiful bar of soap. And uh, Lori's soaps are open on the ends, uh, the shrink wrap, so you can smell them, which is awesome. Oh, and that is just a crazy, awesome, fun scent. Like nice and fruity and just, oh, I love Lori's scents of her soaps. They're just so fun and awesome, and uh, she doesn't skimp. You, I, I don't, personally, just me, I don't like straining to smell a soap if I'm buying a soap. Like some soaps that I buy, you have to really struggle to smell them. Not these. They're not overpowering, but they're just perfect. Uh, the perfect uh, fragrance amount. It's just uh, a, a fantastic bar of soap. And look at it. It's just humongous. <laughs> awesome. Uh, this one here is a bar of the soap I got. And, um, uh, and this one is one of the ones that Lori was making before from the uh, loaf. And this one is called... Um, 
bay leaf and pepper, and it's a really nice, what I think, a masculine fragrance, uh, and it's just awesome. Oh, I love it, and I, it's not cologne because I don't like cologne-like scents, uh, personally. This one says, top notes of bergamot, lemon leaf, clove, uh, mandarin, leading into subtle tones of cinnamon, nutmeg, smoothed out with the essence of apple, lang lang, oak moss, and rosewood. I mean, just crazy good, this one. It's a nice, light olive um, uh, color with uh, some green, darker green swirls on top. Beautiful, beautiful bar of soap. Great for the guys. Um, <laughs> this one I love. This one is absolutely humongous. This one, look at this. This is called uh, Chill Pill. Uh, and uh, this is awesome. <laughs> the color, look at the colors are fun, right? I mean, it's purple and pink and white with glitter. And this awesome Lori Signature um, embed, Chill Pill. Very Valley of the Dolls. Very awesome. I love that, you know, with the glitter. This is awesome. And that to me smells like um, black raspberry vanilla scent. It's just wicked, wicked scent. Really, really fresh, nice blackberry uh, vanilla uh, scent. I love that. Really good. So if this is available on Lori's site, and again, I'll post all the links below. Get out and get this because this one is phenomenal. This one is a, another awesome seasonal soap from Lori I got um, this year. It's called Hugs from Santa. And it's one of the most unique um, scents uh, I've ever smelled, actually. It's uh, like a combination of, of fruity, like, ch it's like cherry and almost like cherry piped uh, tobacco. And, like, don't freak out by the tobacco because it doesn't smell like, you know, cigarettes or anything like that. It's that my dad, when I was little, used to smoke a, a pipe. And he had a phase that he did. And, you know, being the kid, you know, I, I always went over and, like, you know, took a haul off the pipe. Not when it was lit, but, you know, just to, to play around with it and do what Dad was doing. And that reminds me of that, um, that, that scent and that kind of taste for me, but scent. And it is awesome. It's unique. And it's a fantastic blend. I, I really can't describe it other than, like, cherry tobacco. Uh, but it's a really unique, awesome scent. I really, really love this one. And this is another seasonal one from Lori. Uh, these guys are crazy. Look at this. This one here is Sea Buck Buckthorn and Oats. This bar here. It is unbelievable. This one here is palm free. And it's made with um, babasu oil. And oatmeal. And Sea Buckthorn oil. And it's just awesome. Uh, I really, really love this. Oh, this, uh, this soap, uh, this is one I want to get into the shower with soon too, because this one is going to be crazy, crazy good on the skin. Um, it's, it's one color. It's like this natural, the, the, the color of this bar comes from the sea buckthorn oil and it's just, uh, gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous texture on top. I really can't wait to use this. This is going to be so good on the skin, you guys. So I got two of those guys and, um, this one here, I don't know if this one is an all-year soap because um, it's sugared spruce, so it's kind of like a Christmas scent. But this is another one for me that is uh, one of those amazing scents uh, of all the soaps that I got this year from soap makers. It's called Sugared Spruce. And uh, look at that, you guys. It's just gorgeous. Look at, the, look at the talent involved here. Look at the swirls and the colors. There's some pink. And what is like a really deep kind of black um, purple and the, the green Christmas tree with the glitter. It's just an amazing, talented, you know, she, Lori's just so amazing. And uh, the smell of this is crazy. Oh, it is. It smells like sugared spruce. It smells like a, um, like a sugary, piney um, scent blend. And if that doesn't sound good to you, you've got to smell it because if you think, oh, sugared spruce, no, it is a phenomenal scent blend. It is really good. One of my favorites again this year is just oh, crazy good. I love, love that. That's sugared spruce. And, uh, that is another gorgeous one. Uh, let's see. Island of Float is another one of the bar type soaps. I got, which is again, I don't know if it's picking up this in the light, but there's a like a starfish um, or shell, seashell, like starfish on the top with the sugar pearls and the glitter. I mean, just Lori's awesome. Like, look at that. Just creative and gorgeous with the glitter. The colors, it's like a peachy pink, um, beautiful color. And I think this one is a like a, a lush dupe. 
Um, clove, lemon, cinnamon, sweet vanilla, sandalwood, and a hint of musk is the scent description. It is a crazy good smell. Oh, oh my God. Island Afloat. Get this one too, uh, if you can. And uh, yeah, I love, love this guy. Oh, really good. Let's see. Oh, wait, here's another one uh, for Christmas. <laughs> this one. And this kind of sums up Lori too, because her she's so fun. This one's called Ugly Christmas Sweater. <laughs> and we've all been... Uh, the receiver of an, an ugly Christmas sweater or some really bad um, Christmas cake, fruit cake. Oh, that one smells so good. And there's no scent description on this one, you guys. Mm. Oh, uh, it's just fresh and clean and awesome. And I mean, look at that snowman embed. It's crazy with the swirls and the glitter here. I mean, and again, a big chunky bar of soap. Lori takes the time to bevel the edges on her soaps. You know, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous soap. Look at that. Again, that'll be a Christmas seasonal. Um, so watch for all her seasonal stuff, you guys, uh, because it's awesome. Now, this one here, I got two of, and two is not enough, you guys. This one here is, honest to God, the best soap I've ever used on my skin, ever. This is called Go Naked uh, Oatmeal Bars. This one is crazy. This bar is made with goat's milk but it is completely palm free it's coconut free as well so but the great the thing is it lathers awesome and as well it is just so good on the skin this is just like your um well i don't want to say plain because it's just but it's just there's no uh color other than the natural color but i mean that's the whole point it's go naked um, you have to get out there and get this bar of soap. I'm telling you, it's the best thing you will ever use on your skin in your life. It is unbelievable. Go Naked. Uh, oatmeal bars, so phenomenal. Love them. Let me see. Um, this one here, uh, Badass, is one I've had for a while too. This is a, like a leathery scent. It's awesome. I mean, it reminds me of literally like the saddle, a horse, you know, a saddle for a horse is what it reminds me of when, when you smell it. It's like this really cool, like really unique and really true leather smell. It's crazy. If you like that, that's the where to go. Um, it's also made with badass American lager beer. So it is a beer soap, which is awesome too. And uh, it's got uh, brown uh, swirls through it with the uh, regular base color. And this is, uh, I love this kind of scent for me because I like a masculine scent as well. And I don't, but I don't like the cologne scent. So this one is right up my alley. I love that. So that's badass. And um, this is <clears throat> another treat for your skin. Um, I don't want to say if you order nothing else from Lordy, but, but get out there and, and order tons because it's really awesome. But if you order anything but her soap, I mean, get her. This is the, um, the um, gourmet body mousse. And I'm telling you that I never want to be without this stuff. This stuff is so good to my skin, and you know, the Canadian winters up here, I mean, I don't know where you live, are just brutal, right? I mean, where I lived last year, it was minus 48 degrees for three weeks, and um, this is awesome because it's not greasy. Um, it, you don't have that greasy feel. It sinks, it's so creamy, and it sinks right into your skin. This is one of, th I think I have three jars of this right now. One I just emptied, and then I have another one on the go, and then this one's full. And um, I, it's this stuff, I cannot go on enough about this body mousse. It is unbelievable because I try a lot of different um, body mousse and body butter and stuff. But this is like world class top of the line because it does not feel greasy. It sinks in. Your skin feels moisturized and awesome for the entire day. I love, love, love this stuff. It is just one of my favorite products by Lori. I mean, look how creamy that is. That's crazy. So yes, guys, if you're getting anything other than soap from Lori... The Gourmet Body Mousse is amazing. I don't have um, the Sugar Scrub that I got from Lori as well, which is another one of my um, A Life Deliberate uh, favorites. The Sugar Scrub is awesome because sometimes when you get Sugar Scrubs, you dip your fingers in and it's just greasy, like the oil. On, this is, Lori has the perfect combination for her Sugar Scrub. It's the perfect texture. It, it is awesome in the shower and your skin feels like silk afterwards. So also the sugar scrub, get it in there and get it if you can. And this one here I say for last because I just honestly noticed this this morning. This, so I don't even know what this is actually called, the original name for this, but I told Lori, <laughs> I told Lori that 
the embed reminded me of an alien nipple. And I thought, I said, you should call it alien nipples. <laughs> it's this green soap with a swirl. Uh, beautiful, beautiful again. Look with the glitter with what, what uh, is supposed to be an olive, but what it looks like an alien nipple to me. And this, <laughs> this is what I noticed this morning. Lori went and made um, a custom label. <laughs> she called this alien nipples. <laughs> Lori, you're awesome. Oh my God, I just about peed myself when I saw it this morning. <laughs> this is awesome, and this is like classic Lori. She's just phenomenal, phenomenal fun and funny. This is Alien Nipples. I'm sorry, I really... <laughs> I, I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry, Lori. I don't know what the bar is called. I think this is another Lush dupe um, of one of their uh, olive branch or something like that. I think that's what it is. I don't care. This is always going to be alien nipples to me, <laughs> no matter what it's called. <laughs> Lori, I love you. This is awesome. <laughs> so, yes, I bring to you a life deliberate alien nipple soap. <laughs> okay, you guys, listen, that was fun. Um, so I'm done. I've got to go and get packed and ready to go for my trip. Uh, Lori, I love you tons, and uh, I love your soaps. And um, you guys have got to get out there. And order these soaps, get some body mousse and some sugar scrub. All the links are going to be below. Get out there and order these. And uh, when the seasonal times come around, like Thanksgiving, or sorry, uh, Halloween and Christmas, get in there and get these soaps because they go quick. Okay? So also I'd like to uh, give a shout out and a thank you to our uh, celebrity guests, uh, Yoda and <laughs> Grover, for coming by and helping us out and taking time out of their busy schedules uh, to help us with this haul. Okay, again, a life deliberate soap company. Lori, thank you so much. I hope everybody is happy and healthy, and uh, I'll see everybody really soon. Okay, bye-bye.